Hello and welcome to round two with Landfall Shift. Um, I'm willing to keep this. We have a turn one step link, so it's not like great, but it'll do. Like plus interaction plus night, we're actually getting somewhere. We have uh, Omen Valakit going on. We've got like this deck. The, the thing I will say so far is this deck feels like a lot of the things it's doing do mesh together. Um, it just feels like... I guess the all-in aspect is, like, not terrible either, right? You can turn four pretty easily. Yeah, I have a feeling our opponent's playing something wacky. Basic Swamp from hand sets off alarm bells towards eight rack. Like, the Jund decks maybe play one or two. Same with Obzon. So the odds of them playing basic land Inquisition are low. And I believe my opponent actually mulliganed. So that's... You know, Jund doesn't tend to mulligan a ton. Oh, they didn't mulligan. I can't count. I was looking at cards in Graveyard in this, and I was like, where's the seventh? But it's just still sitting on the stack as they figure it out. So that's not huge, but usually opponents mulliganing and like doing this would indicate they're playing something a little more funky because the Jund decks are pretty mulligan proof, especially with no info on the play game one. And I know I'm now labeling them as Jund, but like, I guess realistically, like they're more obs on now, but it's the same, you know, when you say Jund, everyone knows what kind of deck, the way you, you know, it's the same rock-esque grindy, trade all your cards off, beat you with some big thing deck. Um, okay. Guess we are just Lynxing. I don't like that this implies that our opponent has, like, an abrupt decay for a Prismatic Omen. Okay, so they are just Jund. Black, black. Is this a Bob? Ah, oh, brutality. That's fine. Not even sure this play to GOP is going to be doing what I want it to. We'll see. Yeah, I actually like just casting the Omen here. And I guess I don't have to fetch. Especially with the Omen on the battlefield. I can just play the fetch line and let it sit around. So the reason I don't like playing GOP is because our opponent's setup kind of implies Liliana. Kalidus. Okay. That's a pretty good draw. I guess I just play the GOP. And I think I actually path my own GOP if my opponent tries to kill it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I definitely path my own GOP because the landfall triggers are huge. Don't be abrupt decay. Please? Okay, that's fine.
Don't think I need to do anything there. It's kind of a weird spot. Um... Biggest night. So I would have wanted this to be an untapped land so that I could leave up uh, path my own creature in response to removal and crack the fetch for a ton of Valakut triggers. But as is, I have to choose. I think this is definitely happening. Well, this ended perfectly. I'm just going to kill all my opponent's creatures, getting, I guess, the basics, the best one to get. And if my opponent's last card is Liliana, then their last card is Liliana. I guess I have to take two to do this. That kind of sucks, but... That's fine. Prismatic Omen's pretty great. Oh, shoot. Still in the Declare Blocker step. Let's get out of that. Here we go. Yeah, that's not gonna that's not gonna do it at this point. Okay, that's what I thought. I just get to knight up another Valakut and just go off. I don't think I guess Dryad Arbor kinda comes in and uh Shave a Metamorphos for a Dryad Arbor. Just go up a land seems better. Don't really want to bog my opponent. I don't want Anger. I don't want Bridge. Those all just kind of die. I don't really want a Boom Bust, I think. Yeah, let's just do this. Protect from Liliana. I wish there was just like some big doofusy plan you could sideboard into. I guess Primeval Titan doesn't really do the job, but this is the problem. You can't. I guess you'd have to like go further in on the scape shift plan, which your deck is just like not fundamentally positioned to do in any way, shape, or form. So like even if they like decay your omens or whatever. Yeah, or I guess if they decay your omens, it's not great. Um, my point, my point is like, just none of your stuff really pushes the scape shift hard enough. I don't mind this against the typical John Postport plan against what's the what they saw game one. Yeah, leaving up lightning bolt there, like that is. A pretty good uh, play around with this keep then. So we can deduce our opponent has a bolt. Let's 
so they have a bolt. I don't really want to play the GOP. I guess I'm okay, like, double morphosing into a omen. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Just get green red and see what happens. Yeah, I don't really want to path that, so we'll just run that back and play the omen. It's also worth noting that it's fine to burn the Morphoses because I'm getting to an omen. Is this Liliana? Interesting. What is my plan versus Liliana? I don't think I can keep the creatures. I guess Lynx is better than Geopede in this spot, though. Blood Moon. That is very good against us. I guess... Do I need the second Omen here? Yeah, the scapeshift aspect of this deck might just be too slow in this matchup. I think I'm just supposed to pass and path the Goyf. I don't think this game ends well for me in any spot, however. Maybe I was supposed to get a little... Yeah, I guess my creatures are probably going to die in that spot, but maybe I was supposed to get a little more aggressive with them. Okay, they discarded the bolt, so... Let's just cycle this away. Not what I wanted, but that's fine. Now we have the uh, Dryad Arbor in our deck to protect, but I'm not even sure I want to fire that off. I think I just let the Lynx die to the minus two. Or it's just going to die to that. Yeah, I think this is kind of a lost cause here. Yeah, that's... Eh. What makes me sack half my stuff? <sighs> I guess it's not totally hopeless. Sacrificing the pile I select, right? I always forget how this works on Magic Online. <laughs> it appears my opponent may have forgotten as well.
Okay, so our opponent is back to actually organizing these piles from being disconnected. Um, so with these, this is actually like an interesting set of piles to select between. Um, I actually think I want to sacrifice the omen pile. Get a land with flagstones. I think that leaves me with the most material on board. Um, I just have to top deck a path. I did not do that. And Morphos not very good. Maybe I want to get aggro with some boss. Really don't like these mana Morphoses, honestly. <sighs> Let's get a little aggro here. I don't think anything else is bad. first uh, I'm kind of a big fan of hands like this against Jund where like you just make their discard as absolutely atrocious as possible Pretty solid draw. I'll take two and just keep all the fetches available. There's no basic, so I'm always going to take two anyway, so. They know all my cards. You just have to, like, play a lot of your games against Jund with these ramp decks to just draw off the top of your deck. I don't know if this deck's quite capable of that, so that's the real question. I guess I could have saved the Sea Cliff, but I don't think I want to have to deal with tap lands later, potentially. I guess the draw to playing a fetch land last turn is that I could play a Knight into uh, a Lightning Bolt the next turn. This is a good start. I think I just want to go to work on my opponent's life troll here. Um, because they're at 14 and we have 3. We're short 3 or 2 damage here. Which is pretty nice. they decay this, I think I fetch Temple Garden and... Okay, no decay. Yeah, I think I just... Oh, shoot. Let's think about how this works. Well, I can't kill all of their goys. So I guess I think I'm supposed to just go to the face. Yeah, and if I just get another on tap step, they die. My concern is that with the fetching, I died. What? What is that? What? Oh, it adds damage because they crack it for zero. Okay, I 
think my opponent is locked into dead at this point. Their bad hand definitely played a little bit of a role in that. So I'm supposed to respond and just go off and kill them here. There we go. I think they were supposed to definitely bolt me on their turn to avoid that too, though. If I play... Uh, yeah, I actually think I'd die if they bolt me main phase, right? I think I might die if they bolt me main phase there. Weird. But our fetch lands have prevailed, and we have killed our opponent casting a... Well, I guess we cast two spells that game. Three if you count the random explore. Cool. Well, uh, Prismaticum and Valakut, good business. Good business indeed. 